What Cardi B say? I be in and out that bank so much, I know they tired of me. Honestly. Like... family and good morning slayers so we are doing another cash stuffing um in this video which is my it's a combination of two things it is my last paycheck for the month of may as well as drum roll please my taxes they finally came it only took forever and a day and a couple months but my taxes have finally arrived so you know after turbo tax took their little coin off top finally got my money so i combined them both and we are going to be sinking my cash envelopes and my sinking funds with both my paycheck and taxes. Yay. All right. So we are actually stuffing $1,026 today. I used the rest of my money to, as of course, put down on bills and such. So it's not all of my money, but it's my usual cash stuffing and then the extra towards my ta for my taxes. So we're just going to get right down into it. And I put my budget by paycheck workbook to the side today because it was a lot of math that I had to do. So I just settled for a good old notebook, wrote everything down, following the budget by paycheck workbook format, okay? So right now going into our cash envelopes, which is gas, grocery, uh, household, and self-care. They were out of order. That annoys me. Um, but starting first with gas, that is getting $50, which is two 20s and three tens. Oh, and there's still money left in gas. Look at that. Um, so two 20s. Right, there we go. And I will take these $2 out because that is going to go into my savings jar upstairs. All right, and gas is done. And then we're going into food, which is getting $53. It was supposed to get $100, um, $40 from my pay $60 from my paycheck, and then $40 from taxes, but I actually went grocery shopping with some of it. So what's left over is $53. So grocery is going to be getting $53, which is Two twenties, a ten, and three dollars. And can we all just take a second to acknowledge that the cash tray is full today? Like every slot is full. Never happens. Ever, never, ever does it happen. So yeah, forty, fifty-three in grocery. And we're supposed to be having like a potluck at my job because a lot of people are retiring and then my supervisor got a better job so he's leaving so we're supposed to be having like some sort of luncheon for everybody and then 120 is going into self-care and household is getting 15 dollars, which is a 10 and a 5. all right go and miscellaneous is getting 35 which is 2010 and 5 all right there we go that was annoying me Okay, so let me start marking stuff off so I know I did it. Gas is done, food is done, self-care, household, miscellaneous are done. Um, and now we are at LT, you call him by what he wants his name, nickname to be, LT and Chunk, which is what I call Theo because he's just a chunky fat baby, at least he was, and now he just eats like he's a chunky fat baby. So that's where he got his little nickname from. All right, so they both get 30, uh, which is just a 20 and a 10. So I'll take out two 20s. And two tens, which is their usual um, ten dollars that I take out of every paycheck, and then I doubled it from my taxes, which is why they got twenty each. So now we have to dip into the rest of our prep and landing category. Let me pull them out. All right, so take out Tom Tom's money, add his ten and his twenty. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 100. 
25, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 145 is now in Tom Tom's envelope. And actually, I'm going to write that down on the side. So when I go to my laminate sheet, which I have to show you guys because I upgraded it a little bit, I can write that in. And then for Theo's money, he of course should have the same amount, but I just like to double check. All right. 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So Theo also has 145. go and Tom, uh, back to school let me write that in before I forget uh, back to school is getting 120 so that is going to be oh dang it I still messed up it's okay it's supposed to get a hundred dollar bill and a 20 so I needed two hundred dollar bills uh, it wouldn't be a cash stuffing with Drea if I didn't forget something Okay, so back to school now has 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 200, 20, 40. So $240 is now in back to school. So $240. Uh, Beauty is getting 35, which is a 20, a 10, and a 5. So now Beauty has 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 80. So $80 is now in Beauty. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, you open. All right. And that brings us to the end of Prep and Landing. So let me write that down, $80 in Beauty, before I forget. And put this away. Bring out long term for that one. Okay, so new car, new house, retirement. And new house is getting $70, which is a 50 and a 20. So that's a 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. 35, 40. Let me double check that because I wasn't too sure. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, 35, 40. All right, 140 is now a new house. There we go. So 140. A uh, new car is also getting seventy dollars. Okay, so that again is a fifty, and yeah, a fifty and a twenty. So fifty, two, four, six. No, why did I just count that like that? Have mercy. 50, 70, 90, 110, 25. All right, so 125 is now a new car. And then moving on to retirement, that is getting 125. which was supposed to be 100, a 20, and a five. But as you can see, they're all at 100. So let me just make sure I have enough 50s first. Um, I still need one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let me count my 60s, my 50s, my 60s, Lord. 
let me count my 50s and make sure that I still have six of them to do everything else that needs 50 before I take out two 50s to make 100 for retirement. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. Okay. Yay. All right. So two 50s. So 100, a 20, and the last five. Into retirement. Put everything in order. And it was so funny when I had to go to the bank to withdraw this money, I had to do it like in two separate occasions. Like first I had to go when I got my taxes. I went yesterday to go pull that money out. And then when I had to go today, when I got my paycheck and went today, I had to go back to pull this money out. Like what Cardi B say? I be in and out that bank so much, I know they tired of me, honestly. Like, they know what I'm coming to do as soon as I walk in the door. They're like, oh, so-and-so can take you right here. Tell them how much I want to take out. And they're like, all right, how do you want it? They see my face so much. All right, so 100, 200, 2, 4, 6, 8, 300. Yay, confetti, songs, laughter, clapping. We have reached our $300 thresh threshold. So this, uh, blah, y'all know what it's called. This sinking fund can now be deposited into the bank. So 325.35, right? Yes, 25.35, okay. Second guess myself for a second. 335, 335, 335. Okay, so we have 335 in our retirement envelope. And guess who has to go back to the bank? Mom. So that is 325. Cross that out. Emergency is getting 75, which is a 50, a 20, and a house way. How, how, how? I'm supposed to have another five here. And I messed up. How did I mess up? I do not know, as usual. All right, so emergency is supposed to get 75. I could have sworn I got four fives, because that's all it says that I need here on my little category. Yes. No, I lied. I said I was supposed to have five fives. Wait, screw it. Okay, so emergency is getting 70s. Just kidding. A 50 and a 20. No, it's not retirement. It's not what I need. Oh. Okay, so yeah, that brings us to the end of long term. So now we can go into our final category, which is build. Yo, my memory is something else in need of prayer and the help. All right, so I can take these trackers out because I added everything to that laminated sheet I showed you guys in the last stuffing, which I will post over here, right over here on I. You can tap that to see that video of how I took the Pink X budget tracker sheet and just had it laminated at Office Depot. And so now I can keep track of what I have in the bank plus what I have in my, in cash, in my envelopes. So, Back to emergency, getting it $70. So I owe it five. Well, I owe it three. I'll put this in here. So now this has $72 in it. So I owe it $3. Um, and then moving on. So 72. On to car maintenance, which is getting $70. So 50, 50, 60, 70, put this in order. All right, so now in car maintenance, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15. So 115 is now in car maintenance. And moving on to travel, which is getting $50. 50, 60, 70, 85, 91. So $91 is in travel. And we can skip my business envelope. We're just not stuffing anything in there. So it still remains that it has $15 in it. We'll just leave that, um, which brings us to birthdays, which is getting $61. So 
50, 60, and a 1. up so bad like so so bad 50 60 70 85 86 87 88 89 90 so 90 dollars is now on birthdays something told me that i should have just done the cash stuffing separately like my paycheck cash stuffing and then a cash stuffing for the money i got for my taxes but i was like no i'm gonna kill two birds with one stone and just make life easier on myself but no that's not what happened because, let me flip the book over. Oh, I'll just like fold it in half. There we go. Black Friday and Christmas are also supposed to get $61. And all I have left are two fifties and two ones. So, I did something very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. Um, and, and as you can see, in Black Friday and Christmas, there's not as much money in here as there was before in that last cash stuffing. Because... I got hit with like a random, well, it wasn't random. I just, it wasn't accounted for. Bill, uh, for our son's aftercare, um, since the school year is over, they switch it from aftercare, so they start calling it summer camp. And you, they pay, you charge, they charge you five, like every week. As where before it was bi-weekly, every two weeks, we had to give a payment for aftercare. For summer camp, it is every week that you have to pay. And so for the first week, even though they're only going to be there for four days, because it's from the fourth from the 1st until the 4th, so Tuesday to Friday, it was $124 for Theo and $106 for TomTom. Tom. So the way we do it is like we switch off weeks, so I'll pay for one week and then my husband will pay for the next week and then we just keep going like that. So that first payment for the first week of summer camp was my week, so I ended up having to pay $229, y'all. $229 for four days. Oh, so... um. I had to take from Black Friday and Christmas and a little bit of emergency in order to cover that payment. And then of course, as usual, the following week for the second week of summer camp, since they'll also be going to a summer institute at their school to just like give them a heads up, like a head start for next school year and stuff and just help them in areas that they need a little bit more help on. From this year, the price will go down and will be cut in half. So we won't be paying 230, it'll be half of that. Like why couldn't I get the week where the discount starts? Seriously, like it always happens like that. They'll have extracurricular projects due at the aftercare, and if you do it, then they'll give you a discount on the price for that the, for the next payment. It, it'll be I'll get the boys to do it. We'll all do it, and I'll just be like to my husband, like, hey, sign your name on it or do whatever on it, just to like show that we all did it as a family because there's they want you to do. So he'll do that, and then it always falls on his week where we get the discount, and I still have to pay full price, and I'm the one who organizes the project, buys all the supplies for said project. Like, oh. Ain't that bad of it. It happens every time. So now, in birthdays, well, Black Friday, whatever, <laughs> we have 50, 5, 60, 5, 6, yeah, 66, 67, 68, 69, $69. So mad. <laughs> Just my luck. And then for Christmas, can't even believe it. All right, so for Christmas, take the 50 and the one. So then how am I left with a dollar? Oh boy. So 50, five, 60, five, 61, 62, 63, 64. So Christmas now has $64. That's annoying. And then this dollar, I'll just put in Black Friday. So now that's $70 in Black Friday. So now I owe both of these for Black Friday and for Christmas, I owe them both a 10. So I have to go take $20 out so that I can put it in those envelopes and then they'll be officially stuffed. 
All right, so now that all the cash is put away, it is time to update our tracker sheet. I couldn't think of the name of it for a second. And I am borrowing my husband's calculator because I still haven't bought one yet. Um, and I actually need to add in the other cash envelopes over here. Oh no, there they are. Okay, so I got some nail polish remover to help me erase the Sharpie that I have. So, oh, <laughs> all right. So, oh yay, it does work. Fantastic. All right. So, gas, let that dry. Gas now has $50. Groceries has 53. Self-care has 20, household has 15, and beauty has $80. Okay. And now, I think I'm just gonna erase these. Well, I don't need to erase right now. Miscellaneous has $35 in it. So let me just write that in. Okay, so now here's the part where we erase. Tom, Tom, and Theo. Uh, oh my goodness, pause. All right. So Thomas and Theo now both have 145. That four isn't too cute. And we can erase back to school. So this is where our handy dandy calculator comes into play. Um, so again, we already have $340.10 in the bank. And from what we added in our last cash stuffing to what was in the bank, that brought us to $460.10. So now we are at $240. So bring out our calculator. So we're doing three. 40 plus 240. That brings us to $580.10. And okay. And part of me feels like waiting until I hit 300 is a bit much and it like takes too much time because all the time that the money the cash is being spent just waiting around in the envelopes until i hit 300 it could be in the bank collecting dividends and even though it's only like a couple cents that's still money that i didn't have to add so i don't know maybe at least tom tom and theo's money maybe once it hits 100 i'll deposit it in the bank that way it can start to make some kind of money until i can turn it into a cd but just something to think about so um we're done there now moving on to retirement erase this first so it has 325 in the bank and yeah we erase retirement uh, we have 325 that we're adding to it so that gives us 650 we're almost there guys once retirement hits a thousand dollars I will be turning that into a CD and we will be starting the whole process over again. So we're almost halfway there. Well, no, we're more than halfway there. So all I'm waiting for is a thousand dollars. We're more than halfway there. All right, so new house. So 280 plus 140. Four hundred and twenty dollars. Oh seven. And then new car that has two ninety eight fifty seven plus one twenty five. 
423. All right. And then I also added, in addition to my cash envelopes over here, I also added the rest of my sinking funds over here. Even though I haven't deposited any anything in the bank for these categories, I still added them. So... All right. So clear that. And emergency fund that now has $72 in it. So honestly, I can erase all of this. Well, except for business, but I can just write that back in. All right. So emergency fund now has $72 and I still owe that $3 uh, for it to have the full 75 and then car maintenance has $115 travel now has $91 we already said that business has 15 birthdays. Now has, oh, I didn't write it down. Dang it. What does my tracker say? Since I already erased it. $29. So 29 plus 61. It now has $90. All right, now this is where it gets a bit tricky. All right, so I don't know where I left off because the battery died, but um, I do remember saying that Black Friday and Christmas were like a little bit confusing because I borrowed from them. So I did leave $18 in Christmas and I left $19 in Black Friday. So what we just added to that brought Black Friday to 80 and Christmas to 90. And that is with me. I know because you're like, that's not what you counted when you was counting out the money. I hope y'all don't really sound like that, but that's just the voice I got in my head. Um, but that is including the $10 that I'm going to withdraw from the bank to put in each of them. So $10 will go into Black Friday to make it the full 61 that we were supposed to be stuffing. And $10 will go into Christmas to make that the full 61, which will bring us to $80 and $79. And then I still have to take out $3 to go into emergency. So $23 is what I have to withdraw to be done with all of my sinking funds officially. But where it gets a little confusing is because I still owe money to Black Friday and Christmas. So um, Black Friday started with $109 and I had left 18 in there. So minus 18, I owe $91 to it. And then we put in $61. So we now still owe $30 to Black Friday. And I don't know where I'm going to write that down, but I still owe $30 to Black Friday. And then Christmas, I don't even need to use the calculator for that, was $108. We took, left it with $18. So 108 minus 18 equals 90. So minus 61. So $29. So yeah, that's what I thought. I owe $30 and $29 to Black Friday and Christmas respectively. So I'm going to be taking from my next paycheck to cover the difference because I don't want to like, I want to get it back to where it started before I had to take the money out. And then I'm just going to officially start another account for aftercare. That way I won't ever run into that problem again where I just get hit with a bill that I'm just completely not prepared for. So yeah, that is where we are now. And I was like filling out the rest of the sheet on the side. So in my total cash envelopes, which is just from gas to household, would I carry on me? And I want to stop touching miscellaneous. So I think I might take that out too and put it back into my cash binder. So from gas to groceries, self-care and household, that leaves us with $138 in our cash envelopes. And for sinking funds, you're ready to add some stuff? That's a lot. <laughs> so for sinking funds, we have 80 plus 35 plus 145 plus 145 plus 580. 
10 plus 650, 11 plus 420, 07. Oh crap. I messed up. Okay, so that brings us to $80, $80. Oh my God, I need a nap. <laughs> okay, so in total, in sinking funds, from prep and landing to long-term to our build category, that includes beauty, which is actually over here, um, that brings us to $3,020.85. Okay, mercy me. Oh, that was so stressful, y'all. I feel like I just gave birth all over again. But okay, that brings us to the end of this cash stuffing. Next time, I'm gonna just do everything separately because this was too merch. Like, it was just entirely too merch. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you still stuck with me through this chaos and confusion, use a real one. And I appreciate you so very, 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 very much. But as I always say, all 2021 and beyond, we are solving our own problems. No, that's not what I say. Yeah, all 2021 and beyond, we are slaying our own dragons. There we go. Solving our own problems and making it happen for ourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm about to go take a nap. Like, I'm over today. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Bye.